Hey everybody, Ralph Smith here. Guys, we're gonna take a couple minutes out today and talk about something pretty exciting going on in the Cisco collaboration space that actually started this week live on Monday, and that's the release of a new custom in-house course. We've coined ACUCM, which stands for Administering Cisco Unified Communications Manager and Cisco Unit Connection. However, the acronym for ACUCM is a little bit shorter, so it kind of rolls off the tongue, uh, rolls off the tongue a little easier. And so we're gonna take a couple minutes out, do a quick video, hopefully, and really talk about what it is. And so I've gotten questions already in class. I got questions this week. I got questions last week in a different class. I've got a couple of questions through, I wanna say a mentor email and a direct email for some of you guys on the sales side. Say, hey, listen, you know, help me out. What's this class really, where does it fit? What does it do? It's new. And so uh, let's talk about that. So ACUCM is basically the equivalent of our current offerings in the collaboration, which is CCNA, right, collaboration. Half of that class is called CSCD, and that's certification-based, that's entry level into Cisco collaboration technologies. And then the, the upper level, the NP level, is CIP to V1. So what is ACUCM, how does it fit? Well, first thing out of the gate is that this class is the only, currently the only one, that we deliver here at Stormwind, in the collaboration space at least, that has zero certification tied to it. That's not a bad thing, right? That's actually a good thing, uh, potentially for some of our students. Now, why do I say that? Well, something I've learned myself the last couple of years here at Stormwind, even prior to Stormwind, when I used to travel all over the place doing 40-hour boot camps, is during my introductions, and I do it every single class I teach here, I teach six classes, now seven classes, with the new ACUCM, but day one, I do an introduction, I talk about who I am, the course outline, the schedule, and then I asked before we get started, hey guys, you know, if you're in the live class and you're willing to participate, how many of you are here specifically because you're interested in passing this exam at some point in time? And what I've seen over the last couple years is, and this again, this is not a bad thing. It's not a metric to go, whoa, wait a minute, is that good or bad? Don't overthink it. Um, but what I have seen is a lot of our students that are coming into my classes, at least my classes, they're like, hey, no, I'm actually, certification's neat and all, but I either don't care about it, my boss doesn't care about it, my job doesn't require it, or maybe at some point in time, and I'm really here to kind of, to learn what's new. Like, I'm here to learn. I don't really, you know, exam, eh, maybe, right? So, taking that feedback and developing a course that kind of fits a very specific niche, I want to say potential client or prospect or student, whatever term you want to use. And so, we have a lot of students that are also entry level. Right, meaning that they're either A, career changers, B, they're legacy telephone or telephony guys or girls. Right, They worked on the old systems, their company decided to migrate over to a new system, i.e. Cisco collaboration, i.e. Cisco call manager, and they're like, hey, I know legacy telephony, I have no idea how the Cisco stuff works. And so if you dump them in a CICD, that's not a bad deal. They learn a lot of material, but a lot of that is certification based. On this exam, you may expect to see this. Here's the history. Here's this, that, and the other. And for the day-to-day -day engineer who doesn't care about CERT, they don't care about that. So in a two-hour class, they're essentially kind of getting, you know, uh, maybe some knowledge that they're like, all right, that's great, but I don't think I'm going to remember that. I'm probably not even going to take notes. Again, I don't know. But that's just my speculation. So what is ACCM? How does it fit? 100% certification-free. No practice exams, no CERTs, no official CERTs. Um, out the gate, right? What's that mean for the class itself? A lot less pressure, more laid back, more free flowing, more show and tell, more stories, more here's how st stuff works in the quote unquote real world. And so, you know, this is a class that I think will do pretty well here at Stormwind because again, I've had students last week in my NP level course, right? When I talked about this course kind of early, I said, hey guys, if you're interested, come check me out in this new ACUCM course, like what is it about? And I said, it's it's a fundamentals course. Wow, I should probably be in that class instead. These are students in my MP level course. Now granted, they have the all access package, at least some of them expressed they did, so they can do what they want. But I actually had a couple of students show up this week and go, hey, you know, this is a little more my speed, right? I don't care about the history and the, the facts and all the stuff that maybe on exam I have to know. Just give me what I need for my everyday real life job. So at a basic level, that's what this course covers. And so in fact, what we'll do is let's take a look at our website. Right, honestly, this is the first time I looked at this today myself. So if you go to our courses tab, right, if you haven't done this yet, Cisco, of course, and we go down to, you know, my little uh, slice of heaven, which is collaboration, it's right here. 
right? So that is the acronym, again, Administering Cisco Unified Communications and Unity Connection. It's ACUCM. And if you take a look at it, uh, we definitely got to update that picture. I'm about 265 on that picture. I'm about 237 right now. Hope you can tell the difference. If not, it's okay. I'll see you guys uh, in a little bit, I'm sure. But um, yeah, here's the 10,000 foot view. But since you have me on video, I'll give it to you better. So a couple things about this class. Um, questions I'm getting to the uh, the channels, right? So mentor email box or more so for email from you guys directly, uh, managers, directors, uh, salespeople, is does this class talk about Contact Center Express? Nope. Does it talk about Call Manager Express? Nope. Does it talk about Cisco Finesse or Cisco Spark? Two new kind of hot new products that are slowly entering the Cisco collaboration market space to compete directly with Call Manager? No. Nope, not yet. Um, those are pretty new. And they, they're kind of a niche product that still hasn't really penetrated the marketplace, but it's becoming slowly more popular. Now, again, if you really kind of look at this class from a 10,000 foot view, what is it really? If I, if I was to super simplify it, A, it's a fundamentals course. Fundamentals for what? Ads, moves, changes, right? What does that mean? As a student, you're gonna learn how to sit down, right, at your desk, log into a call manager or Cisco Unit Connection voicemail, you're going to add phones. You're going to modify the phones, delete phones, right? You're going to do the same with users. And that's the, really the big foundational or focal point of the course. They will still learn about dial plans, call routing, but a really, really kind of basic level. In this class, everything is already built. The class is designed specifically for somebody who comes in day to day. They're probably a level one, you know, maybe one to three year engineer, still kind of cutting their teeth, still getting a grasp on how everything works. Right, that's what this class focuses on. So again, no contact center, no finesse, no spark, no prime collaboration. Um, it's literally two products. Call manager, big boy enterprise flagship application, PBX phone system, Cisco Unit Connection, voicemail. That's it, right? And a lot of my students, a lot of people out there, that's all they have to deal with. That is their job. And so this class is designed for that demographic. So if you guys have any questions regarding anything else in the class, feel free to email me directly, of course, ralph.smith at um, You know, if you need to call me, you need to set up a conference call, that's fine. Uh, again, here are the outline, you know, we'll kind of slowly update some of this stuff as I update the class. You know, this is a class we built in-house. Want to go ahead and throw out a little disclaimer there, though, is, uh, you know, as a salesperson, you guys have the training and skills that I don't have. But the one thing, uh, I guess for myself to kind of get, just get it out there is, you know, this is a class that I built myself from scratch, but it is a derivative. You know, it's taking pieces of CICD and A-level, CIPDV1 and P-level, stripping out all the fat, all the history, um, all the certification stuff that people probably don't care about, and then spicing it up a little bit. So now we have, not only do we have sizzle, but we have state to go behind it. And, um, you know, there, there are other vendors that have a kind of similar class that still add a little more history and background and things like that. I think that's more to kind of fill in the 40 hours in a week so they can sell it as a 40 hour week class. We don't have to do that, right? Which is the beautiful thing about Stroman is uh, we have a lot more freedom and creativity. So that being said, um, take that for what it's worth, right? So this class is something that will improve over time. Oh, also worth an honorable mention, I'll throw it out there is and some of my classes, people come in and say, hey, listen, I'm in CIPTV1, an official certification course, right? CIPTV2, an official certification course that I teach. What version of code are we on? When they say that, they're asking about call manager, the phone system. Now, what version is this taught on? The other six classes I teach, two for CCNA collaboration, four for CCMP collaboration, based on the official Cisco curriculum, is taught on 10.x code, meaning 10.5, 10.0. That's what Cisco designed that course for. Here's the catch. Cisco call manager in live production right now, what they sell to customers is already upgraded to 11.5. 12.0 is supposed to be released this month or next month. So we do have a small demographic of students, at least based on what they tell me when I ask the question, hey, you know, yeah, well, I'm 11.5 and they're in my CITB1 course and I can't talk about it because um, or at least for certification type questions, it's not relevant. Here's the cool thing. We have the ability here at Storwin, uh, a little bit, to basically use my demos when I build the demo environment 
to use the current versions of code. What's unique about this class, it can potentially keep up with the current versions of code because I don't have to follow what Cisco follows in the official certification track. For the most obvious reason, there is no certification for this class. And I think people are gonna love that. They're gonna say, hey, listen, uh, I'm on 12.0 code. Are we gonna talk about that? And I can say, matter of fact, we are. We might be one of the only training companies in the world that can actually do that. Again, don't get too excited there just yet. Um, it's something we have to look at as far as being able to keep up with it, but I think it's something we can manage. So uh, put in perspective, current certification classes are on 10.5. I already have software for 11.0. I've been using it in all my classes. And people are like, well, okay, this is great. You know, what's the differences? And I talk about one, talk about the other, talk about the differences, and go from there. So anyhow, guys, that's all I got. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, hit me up, ralph.smith at stormwind.com. If you need a phone call or anything like that, also let me know. Again, clarification, fundamentals course, call manager, voicemail, that's it. It is live. It is instant replay. It is still eight days. It's two hours a day. It's epic. It's fun. Zero pressure. Life is good. Have a good one, guys, and uh, let me know if you need any questions. Take care.